Breaking news, my wonderful people. <laughs> Kayamu disgraced. <laughs> Nigerians, eh? Ah, the wicked. They, they disgraced Kayamu. You know, first was Kayamu it was speaking about some of the issues that were going on in France. You know, he was talking about, I mean, in France, in Europe, I mean, in most parts of even the, you know, the um, advanced nations, people are speaking about economic hardship, uh, recession, um, increase in, you know, um, you know, rates and what have you. Those are things that are happening to some nations and to some people. And so some people have taken it to the streets in France to protest. First of Kiyamu took on these parties, by the way, supporting Tinubu. Let's get all the details as Nigerians disgrace him. What's your business? Nigerians asked First of Kiyamu over comment on protests on France. Nigerians has criticized the Minister of State for Labor and Productivity, Festus Kiyamu, on Monday for using the protest in Paris, the capital of France, to describe Nigerians and to describe Nigerians and to prevent them from relocating abroad. Protesters in their thousands troop out in Paris on Sunday to demonstrate an increasing financial and rage against the inflation three weeks into a refinery strike that caused fuel shortage across France. The demonstrations, which was also against the rising cost of living, was called by the left-wing political opposition led by the head of France on both party. In reaction to this, Festus Kiyamo on his Twitter handle said, there are disturbing economic issues across the globe, and Nigeria is not the only country affected by economic slum. The minister also said some Nigerian citizens are playing local politics with global issues. Massive protests on the streets of Paris over swearing prices. Meanwhile, some are still planning to jack back abroad as if Nigeria is in isolation in isolation of the present global issues. Some know the issues are also deceiving Nigerians and playing local politics with global issues, Festus Kiyamu has said. In reaction to his tweets, some Nigerians on Twitter have slammed the minister for posting a video of people protesting, commenting on it, saying it was wrong for him to compare the two countries as Nigerian problem are enormous and nobody can openly protest under Buhari's administration without having the lucky experience. Some Nigerians reacted that why the France government is in respect for democratic principles and will allow the people to protest peacefully. The same cannot be said of President Mohamed Buhari's government, which Festus Kiyamu worked for. They are protesting and there is no presence of military shooting at them. I think it is better to protest in a country where your life will be protected as well, a lot has said. In some quarters, Nigerians have argued that problems are bigger than what is happening in France in the Western world. We have issues bigger than the swearing price of things. There are even more issues. If it's just the price increment, Nigerians can cope. Issues of parties and plunges that has poverty, uh, party issues, people using people against each other, rituals, and a lot more things are going on. Festus Keyamo should know what to do rather than speaking against countries who are doing all they can to move their country forward. Nigeria has no value in any way at all. Well, this is part of what is happening right now, my people. This is part of what is going on. And you'll be shocked, as Nigerians have told Festus Kiyamo, you have no, you have nothing, you have nothing to, to, to talk about. And go and sleep. Take a cool shower and sleep. Hmm? Take a cool shower and sleep because you are deceiving yourself. Festus Kiyamo is a man who is speaking for Ashiwadu Ahmed Bola Tinobo. So go and take a cool shower and sleep. You, maybe you are in your period, so you don't know what you are saying. Eh? You want to compare France and the UK and uh, the France to Nigeria. Excuse me. You see them protesting. Do you see anybody? Do you see the army or the military around trying to take the lives of people and lie that is photoshopped? Have you seen that? See, there's no basis for comparison. There is no basis. And so this guy really needs to humble himself because he's thinking too highly of himself. And these are some of the things that are going on and are happening. And so if Nigerians really wants to ch see change, every one of us have got a duty 
Don't just sit back there. He's, he's supporting uh, uh, Tinubu. Of course, he has a right to support whichever candidate he wants to support. And he's using that as a basis, as a yastic to, of description. What a total failure. What a total failure. This is not the kind of people we should be committing serious matters to because they have prizes. And when a man can be capped with his prize, then you can see the essence of who he is. This was a man who once condemned this same Tinubu. The same Tinubu has not changed. He has not turned a new leaf. Yet today he's singing the same praises of the man. He once told Nigerians to be weary of that this man is a rogue, is a crook, and it means no wealth for Nigerians. The same person is now saying, ah, it's the best thing that has happened after the invention of sliced bread. And you want us all to just dance and rally around you, go out and vote. Excuse me, this is not 1974 or 1986. This is not 1992. This is not 2008. This is 2022. The elections are in 2023 and every one of us, speaking about over four decades, these people have been there. What have they done? What part did they really play in ensuring national building? And why should we support them? Because most of you are just speaking like people who have no knowledge. Why can't we reconsider and look at what we are doing critically so that we can be moving the nation forward rather than taking the nation a wolf? People are living. You are talking about people living. Is that how Americans are also of the issues that Americans are trying to move to Nigeria or Britain are trying to move to, to Nigeria? How many countries in the world are people trying to move to Nigeria? How many countries, good countries, at least people move from America to just go and relocate to the UK? Not because there is, no, they are moving because they want to move, not because there is economic hardship or this or that. What have we prepared? Sadly, you guys are the ones in the position of leadership. What are you doing? How are you effecting change in the opportunity with the stage and the opportunity you've been given? Yet you come out and want to give us coke and bull stories and you expect us to listen. Hey, most of you should actually be in prison. Kiri, kiri. Sad that you are the ones calling the shots. We know who you are. We're tired of the status quo and we want something different. We want to compare Nigeria and Paris. Hey, let's change the countries now. All Nigerians should move to Paris. It's just a courage not going to remain the same. Courage not going to stay. He go turn to the same place again, no? If Nigerians move into Paris, the thing will go down to the same thing again. Now, wow, my people, time to move forward now. now. These people, they have no shame. The APC, honestly speaking, they have no shame. Honestly speaking, leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Have a good day.